but first a bit of background on choice of law rules. Most, if not all, states have rules that mandate that under certain circumstances, the law of another state will govern. So this means, for example, that Georgia state courts will often apply the law of other states. Most typically, the choice of law provisions specify that you should apply the substantive law of the state having the greatest interest in the litigation or the most significant connection to the suit. That's the general rule. And if you get a question that talks about choice of law generally, you should assume that that's your rule. Unless, the, unless your fact pattern tells you otherwise what the specific choice of law rule is. Again, most typically, the choice of law says that you should apply the substantive law of the state having the greatest interest in or the most significant connection to, your, to, to the suit, to the underlying facts. And in fact, the Supreme Court of the US said that a state may not apply its own law if it has no connection to the case other than the fact that the plaintiff happened to file there. So I'm going to give you a hypo to go through the choice of law rules. It's rather complicated. I recommend you write it down as I'm going. Let's say that Paul is from Pennsylvania and David is from Delaware. Both Paul and David are on vacation in New Mexico. David, while driving, accidentally runs over Paul's poodle or something. They exchange information and go back home. Paul eventually sues David in federal court in Delaware. So Paul sues David in Delaware. Now let's assume that the Delaware's choice of law rule states that as a matter of Delaware, Delaware law, the rules of negligence are governed by the law in the state in which the tort occurred, in this case, New Mexico. By the way, that's fairly common. That means that if Paul sued David in Delaware state court, the Delaware courts, the Delaware state courts would have followed New Mexico law. What law should the federal court follow? Should it follow Delaware state law? That is, after all, where we're sitting, or New Mexico state law? Well, on one hand, Erie says that you apply the law of the state that we're in. That would seem to be Delaware law. On the other hand, even Delaware wouldn't have applied Delaware law. Delaware would have applied New Mexico law. So in the interest of consistency, perhaps the federal courts should apply New Mexico law. And in fact, that's the standard. The federal courts sitting in Delaware would apply New Mexico law. Now, you might view this as an exception to Erie, but it's really not. And the reason is that state choice of law rules are part of state substantive law. That's not procedure, it's substance. You're going to apply the state rules. Erie thus requires federal courts to adopt the forum state's choice of law rules. Now let's make things a bit more complicated. When a case is transferred from one federal court to another for the purposes of, purposes of convenience, under 28 U.S.C. 1404A, the transferee court, that is the receiving court, deals with the choice of law questions as though it were the transferor court. Why is that? When a case is transferred for convenience under 1404A, we look at it for some purposes as though we were still sitting in the transferor district. While the court that hears and decides the case is elsewhere, it remain, the case remains tied to the state in which it was filed. So using the same hypo as before, Paul sues David in Delaware for running over his poodle in New Mexico. Let's assume that all the witnesses and all related facts are in New Mexico. Then, in fact, people are going to have to travel the significant distances from New Mexico to Delaware to testify in the case. It would be a huge burden to force them to travel back and forth for this trial. And so the case is transferred to New Mexico, not surprisingly. Now imagine that New Mexico has a rather odd choice of law rule that says in negligence, case, negligence cases, you always apply the state law of the defendant. Probably no state in the union that has that law. I certainly doubt New Mexico has such a law. But for the sake of our fact pattern, let's assume those are the rules. And by the way, if you get such a strange choice of law rule on your exam, don't fight the question. Just assume that those are the choice of law rules. David is from Delaware. New Mexico choice of law rules say to use the defendant's state law, which is Delaware law. The Delaware choice of law rules state, to st state that you should use New Mexico law. So again, New Mexico says use Delaware law. Delaware says use New Mexico law. Who wins? That is, which, which body of law should the federal court now in New Mexico apply? The answer is that we apply the choice of, the choice of law rules of the transferor court. This means that the federal court in New Mexico will apply the choice of law rules of the Delaware state courts, which turns out to be New Mexico substantive law. If that hypo was confusing for you and you weren't drawing it out in a flow chart, or even if you were, I recommend listen, listening, to it, listening to it again, making sure you understand all the details clearly. The basic points are this. Number one, federal courts apply the choice of law rules in the state that they are in. Number two, except when the case is transferred for the purposes of convenience, they use the choice of law rules of the transferor state. It's an exception to the general rule. So to make sure everyone's clear, 
David sues Delaware in, Del in Delaware. The case is transferred to New Mexico. New Mexico is going to apply the choice of law rules of Delaware, which says to use New Mexico law. Now let's say that the case was transferred to New Mexico not for inconvenience, but because the, there was an improper venue, for example. There were venue problems. In that instance, you look at the case as though it were dismissed and refiled in New Mexico. Reason being, it shouldn't have been filed in Delaware in the first place. The courts have no jurisdiction. The courts have no basis to assume jurisdiction. It's not discretionary. When venue is improper, the plaintiff had no business filing there, the transfer breaks all ties to the original filing. As a result, we, we apply the choice of law rules of the transferee state. So now let's go back to our old hypo. The case was transferred from Delaware to New Mexico, out of it, not of inconvenience to the witnesses, but because Delaware, for whatever reason, and actually under these facts it seems hard to believe, but for whatever reason didn't have jurisdiction, there wasn't venue. We will apply the choice of law rules of the state of New Mexico. Because again, we look at it as if it was originally filed in New Mexico. New Mexico choice of law rules strangely say you apply Delaware substantive law, so we're going to apply Delaware substantive law in, in New Mexico, not because the case was originally in Delaware, in fact, in spite of the, case, the, 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 the fact that the case was originally in Delaware.